Carlos Santana was born July 20, 1947, is a Mexican and American musician who first became famous in the late 1960s and early 1970s with his band, Santana, which pioneered a fusion of rock and Latin American music. Santana was born in Olón del Navarro, Jalisco, Mexico. He learned to play the violin at age 5 and the guitar at age 8 under the tutelage of his father, a mariachi musician. His younger brother, George Santana, would also become a professional guitarist. Young Carlos was heavily influenced by Ritchie Valens at a time when there were very few Latinos in American rock and pop music. The family moved from Olón del Navarro to Tijuana, the city on Mexico's border with California, and then San Francisco. Carlos stayed in Tijuana but later joined his family in San Francisco, graduating from James Lick Middle School, and in 1965 from Mission High School. Carlos was accepted at California State University, Northridge, and Humboldt State University, but chose not to attend college. Santana was influenced by popular artists of the 1950s such as B.B. King, T-Bone Walker, and John Lee Hooker. Soon after he began playing guitar, he joined local bands along with Tijuana's group, where he was able to be adding his own unique touch to his He was also introduced to a variety of new musical influences, including jazz and folk music, and witnessed the growing hippie movement centered in San Francisco in the 1960s. In 1966 he gained prominence due to a series of accidental events, all happening on the same day. Santana was a frequent spectator at Bill Graham's Fillmore West. During a Sunday matinee show, Paul Butterfield was slated to perform there but was unable to do so as a result of being intoxicated. Graham assembled an impromptu band of musicians he knew primarily through his connections with Butterfield's band and with the Grateful Dead and Jefferson Airplane, but he had not yet chosen all the guitarists. Santana's manager, Stan Markham, immediately suggested to Graham that Santana join the impromptu band and Graham agreed. During the jam session, Santana's guitar playing and solo gained the notice of both the audience and Graham. During the same year, Santana formed the Santana Blues Band, with fellow street musicians David Brown, bass guitar, Marcus Malone, percussion, and Greg Rowley, lead vocals, Ham on Dorgan B3. With their highly original blend of Latin-infused rock, jazz, blues, salsa and African rhythms, the band, which quickly adopted their frontman's name, Santana, gained an immediate following on the San Francisco club circuit. The band's early success, capped off by a memorable performance at Woodstock in 1969, led to him signing a recording contract with Columbia Records, then run by Clive Davis. Santana was signed by CBS Records and went into the studio to record their first album. They were not satisfied with the release and decided changes needed to be made. This resulted in the dismissal of drummer Bob Livingston. Santana replaced him with Mike Reeve, who had a strong background in both jazz and rock. Percussionist Marcus Malone was forced to quit the band due to involuntary manslaughter charges, and the band re-enlisted Michael Carabello. Carabello brought with him percussionist Joe's Capitude Areas, who was already well known in his country, Nicaragua, and, with his skills and professional experience, was a major contributor to the band. Their first album, Santana, was released in August 1969 and became a huge hit, reaching number 4 on the US album charts, with the catchy single, Evil Ways, reaching number 9 on the Billboard Hot 100. In 1969, the band's performance at the Woodstock Festival introduced them to an international audience and garnered critical acclaim, although the band's sudden success put pressure on the group, highlighting the different musical directions in which Rolly and Santana were starting to go. When Caravan Saray did emerge in 1972, it marked a strong change in musical direction towards jazz fusion. In 1972, Santana became interested in the pioneering fusion band the Mahavishnu Orchestra and its guitarist, John McLaughlin. Aware of Santana's interest in meditation, McLaughlin introduced Santana and his wife Deborah to his guru, Sri Chinmoy. Chinmoy accepted them as disciples in 1973. Santana was given the name Devadip, meaning the Lamb, Lie and Eye of God. Santana and McLaughlin recorded an album together, Love, 
devotion, surrender, 1973, with members of Santana and the Mahavishnu Orchestra, along with percussionist Don Elias and organist Larry Young, both of whom had made appearances, along with McLaughlin, on Miles Davis' classic 1969 album Bitches Brew. The pressures and temptations of being a high-profile rock musician and requirements of the spiritual lifestyle which Guru Sri Chinmoy and his followers demanded were in conflict, and imposed considerable stress upon Santana's lifestyle and marriage. He was becoming increasingly disillusioned with what he thought were the unreasonable rules that Chinmoy imposed on his life, and in particular with his refusal to allow Santana and Deborah to star a family. He felt too that his fame was being used to increase the Guru's visibility. Santana and Deborah eventually ended their relationship with Chinmoy in 1982. In 1990, Santana left Columbia Records after 22 years and signed with Polygram. The following year he made a guest appearance on Otmar Liebert's album, Solo Parity 1991, on the songs Reaching Out To You and on the cover of his own song, Samba Party. In 1992 Santana hired Jam Band Fish as his opening act. Carlos Santana performed at the 2009 American Idol final with the top 13 finalists, which starred many acts such as Kiss, Queen and Rod Stewart. On July 8, 2009, Carlos Santana appeared at the Athens Olympic Stadium in Athens with his 10-member all-star band as part of his Supernatural Santana A Trip Through the Hits European Tour. On July 10, 2009, he also appeared at Philip II Stadium in Skopje. With a 2.5 November decillion hour long concert and 20.000 people, Santana appeared for the first time in that region. Supernatural Santana, a trip through the hits was played at the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas, where it was played through 2011. Santana, since 2007, has opened a chain of upscale Mexican restaurants called Maria Maria. It is a combined effort with Chef Roberto Santibanez. They are located in Temp, Arizona, Mill Valley, Walnut Creek, Danville and San Diego, Austin, Texas, and Boca Raton, Florida. In 2012, Santana released an album Shapeshifter consisting of mostly instrumental tracks. On May 6, 2014, his first ever Spanish language album Corazon was released. On September 1, 2015, Carlos Santana appeared as a member of Grateful Dead bassist Phil Lesh's band Phil Lesh and Friends at the third annual Lock Music Festival. Santana met Deborah King, whom he later married in 1973. She is the daughter of late blues singer and guitarist Saunders King. They have three children. Salvador, Stella and Angelica. Together with wife Deborah, Santana founded a not-for-profit organization, the Milagro Miracle Foundation, which provides financial aid for educational, medical, and other needs. On October 19, 2007, Deborah Santana, his wife of 34 years, filed for divorce citing irreconcilable differences. Santana became engaged to runner Cindy Blackman, after proposing to her during a concert of the Universal Tone Tour at Tinley Park in Chicago, Illinois, on July 9, 2010. The two were married in December 2010. They currently live in Las Vegas. Santana has three children, Salvador, Stella, and Angelica. In 2000, Supernatural won nine Grammy Awards, eight for Santana personally, including Album of the Year, Record of the Year for Smooth, and Song of the Year for Thomas and Diddlesher. Santana's acceptance speeches described his feelings about music's place in one's spiritual existence. Later that year at the Latin Grammy Awards he won three awards including Record of the Year. In early August 2003, Santana was named 15th on Rolling Stone magazine's list of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time. On April 21, 2005, Santana was honored as of my icon at the 12th annual My Latin Awards. Santana was the first songwriter designated of my icon at the company's Latin Awards. The honor is given to a creator who has been a unique and indelible influence on generations of music makers.